look how lovely she is. Journalists around the world exclaimed, pointing to Lady Louise Windsor. The appearance of the Duke of Edinburgh's daughter at the coronation of Charles III impressed many. Indeed, twenty years old, well-educated, with an impeccable reputation and the allure of youth. Lady Louise is already being called the new rose of the royal family. She was born very small, about two kilograms, and ahead of schedule. On November 8, 2003, Buckingham Palace announced the birth of Louisa Alice Elizabeth Maria. As it is not hard to guess, three of the girls' four names are compliments of the family. Everything happened so quickly and unexpectedly that her father, Prince Edward, did not have time to arrive. He was in Mauritius on an official visit. By the way, Lady Louise had not yet had time to show herself off, but a lake in Canada had already been named after her. This gift was given to her in the province of Manitoba. Like all the Windsor family girls, Louise was an early student of horseback riding. Queen Elizabeth II had stopped riding just a year before she died, and Princess and is an excellent horsewoman and winner of many competitions, for example, she won the European Triathlon Championship and participated in the Montreal Olympics. After graduating from school, Louisa went to the University of St. Andrews, a highly important royal institution, where Prince William studied and where he met Kate Middleton. Louise is studying English and literature and is trying to write articles for the university newspaper. In public, Louise appeared infrequently, but the official events of the royal family are impossible to miss. The girl was a bridesmaid at the wedding of Prince William, she was seen at the celebrations to mark the platinum anniversary of the Queen's reign. But more often than not, she's in the shadows. But her gala appearance at the coronation was noticed by all. Lady Louise's gown of white and purple, with a hat to match, was considered one of the most successful. Windsors have a new rose, the headlines blared. Indeed, youth and charm are the best decorations. Princess Diana was once compared to a rose when she was first married. However, as a child, the granddaughter of the queen was repeatedly mocked for, squinting eyes. This affliction has been dealt with for some years, and there is now no trace of the former difficulties. Lady Louisa is now fifteenth in line for the throne, but this is rather a formality. No one is seriously considering the possibility of Louisa taking the English throne but her position allows her to claim the title of princess, the royal guard, and a number of duties to be performed. But even then, things are not so simple. King Charles III has repeatedly said that he wants to reduce the number of working Windsors. But the king himself is not getting any younger. The Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, Louise's parents, are not young either. So they will probably have to give way to the young. Kate and William won't be able to attend all the events and perform all the duties together, so some of the responsibility will fall on the shoulders of others. With Prince Harry dropping out, the king may well turn to Lady Louise for help. Especially since she has an impeccable reputation and clearly gets positive reviews in the press. The only thing that sometimes causes controversy is Louise's outfits. Apparently, she is far from always guessing with her closet but with competent stylists, and the ability to take criticism, she clearly can handle it. Well, nothing is yet known about the girl's private life. Today's princesses have families closer to 30, so that a big royal wedding in England still wait a little longer.